Welcome to the All Out Leadership Podcast, hosted by Pastor Eric Lawson, where each episode is uniquely designed to help you live all out by bringing you practical leadership from a biblical perspective delivered in 10 minutes or less. So whether you're a business leader, serving in ministry, or simply looking to grow in your leadership, this podcast is for you. Before we dive into this week's topic, make sure to subscribe to the podcast and download the show notes at ericlawson.com forward slash podcast. And while you're at it, feel free to share the content on social media. Now, let's join Pastor Eric for this week's conversation. Welcome to another edition of the All Out Leadership Podcast. We're continuing in the story of Absalom. I want to read a passage of scripture, and then we're going to unpack uh, this statement. Admirable or admired? Admirable or admired because they're not two of the same things. Now we continue in 2 Samuel 15, verse 2. Now Absalom would rise early and stand beside the way to the gate. And so it was, whenever anyone who had a lawsuit came to the king for a decision, the Absalom would call to him and say, What city are you from? And he would say, Your servant is from such and such a city, a tribe of Israel. Then Absalom would say to him, Look, your case is good and right, but, you know, there's no deputy of the king to hear you. Moreover, Absalom would say, Oh, that I were made judge in the land, and everyone who had a suit or a case would come to me, then I would give them justice. And so it was whenever anyone came near to bow down to him, that he would put out his hand, take him, and kiss him. In this manner, Absalom acted towards all Israel who came to the king for judgment. And so Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. And we're going to focus on this statement over the next several podcasts, and that is Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. Uh, Throughout the church world, leaders often make uh, reference to the Absalom spirit. Well, that person has an Absalom spirit. And what we see is an Absalom spirit is one that usurps authority and that tries to steal authority or credibility or ultimately someone else's position, uh, taking away from the credibility of the leaders that they serve. And so it's a very negative context and connotation inside of church, church world. But inside of the secular world, there are many people who carry this Absalom spirit as well. And really, the Absalom spirit is really a spirit of the Antichrist. It's the same spirit that Satan had when you read his story in Isaiah. He said, I will be like the Most High. I will ascend unto the heights. I will seat myself upon his throne. And the spirit of Satan was he wanted a seat that didn't belong to him. He wanted someone else's chair. It's really the same spirit that Absalom had. And that is, he wanted the throne of his father. He didn't want to earn the throne. He just wanted to take it, and he usurped uh, David's authority in how he got that. And we see this today in the church world, unfortunately, too often. Uh, You hear of church splits that take place, and it's often done in the name of good things, but it's really not the Spirit of God. It's, It's the Spirit of the Antichrist. It's the Spirit of Satan. Now, Absalom was admired by all the people. As you read 2 Samuel 15, you'll see how much they were in awe of him, and he was impressive. The Bible talks about how good-looking he was, you know, how impressive his chariot was. He had long, flowing hair. He was the Fabio of, of the day. In fact, he would have been on the cover of you know, GQ magazine. He would have been voted sexiest man in Israel. He was that guy. He was charming. He was dynamic. He was good-looking. He was well-groomed. He was the epitome of, um, you know, just macho, suave, devonair, and dressed for success. And so as a result of his branding and of his image, he stole the hearts of people. Now, when we look at what were the qualifications of Absalom to actually become a leader, to become a king, there really is nothing there that is impressive. The only real achievement that we know of Absalom was that he murdered his half-brother, and he successfully escaped any significant consequences. We see later in passages of Scripture that he had no son, so he built a monument to himself. Those are the only successes that we see in the life of Absalom. But he was attractive. He was cool. He was suave. He had people skills. He was the man of the hour. But what do we see in David? Well, we see David won the hearts of the people. He didn't steal the hearts of the people. He won the hearts of the people over many years of sacrifice, of service, and success. 
So Absalom was able to steal the throne for a short period of time because he had the right brand and the right image. And so I want to just talk just for a second. This is a shorter podcast probably than normal, and that is, are you a person that's admirable like David, or are you just a person who's admired because you can manage your brand well? It's not to say that your personal self-image doesn't matter, that you shouldn't carry yourself respectfully, dress nice. It's not that those things don't matter, but if that is the substance of who you are and not your character and not service, sacrifice, and a servant spirit and having a track record of success, you're just more admired than you are admirable. And so when you look at who is influencing you, the other question I would have is, do you admire them because they're admirable Or do you just admire them because they're catchy and they have charisma and they're dynamic? We see this all the time inside of politics. We see highly qualified people who have a track record of making great decisions, good leadership, good business acumen, um, spirit of justice, integrity about them, that they're kind of pushed to the side because they're not dynamic and charisma and they don't do well on interviews or David, you know, the, the late night talk shows and, and they're just overlooked. And unfortunately we have a culture that's glamorized uh, and just, you know, wild with image and brand and charisma over character. And it's just, fortunately it's not a new thing. It's just kind of been, that's the way of human history. So uh, stop and look at who you are. And secondly, stop it. Look at who's influencing you and why do they influence you? So who's influencing you right now inside of your life? So ask yourself this question. Who do you listen to? Who are the people that influence decisions that you're making? Is it because they're admirable or they're just, wow, they're impressive, but have no real substance? What qualifies them to influence you? What's the track record of success that they have? Why do you listen to them? Because they have the most followers, they get the most hits on YouTube. What is it that gives them credibility? It's amazing to me, we live in a culture today that people who could never have a platform in any other time in human history can get a platform from their mother's basement, having never made a rent payment, never held a job. And they have all this influence and and they don't even know what they're talking about. They've never even done it, but you can post a really cool YouTube channel and somehow, you know, hey, you're an overnight sensation. But I go, who are you? <laughs> you know, why am I listening to you? What, 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 sh- what have you done with your life that would give you the credibility to influence and speak inside of my life? And that would really be the third question is, what qualifies you to give me your opinion? And this would really help us a whole lot uh, when we vote. This would help us in who we follow and who's in our podcast playlist and, you know, what books we're reading and, you know, whose articles, you know, we're reading in the blogs. And again, so who do you listen to? Why do you listen to them? And what gives them the credibility or the qualifications to influence your life? And are you a person who's admirable? Are you a person who's a servant? And have you built a track record of success? Or are you more interested in Absalom and managing and controlling your brand. Thank you for joining us on the All Out Leadership Podcast. We hope you gained new biblical insight that challenged you to grow in your leadership. If you've enjoyed this week's episode, we would love your help in getting the content out farther. You can help by subscribing to the podcast at ericlawson.com forward slash podcast and telling others about it. Next week, Pastor Eric will be back with another episode. So until then, we hope you have a great week being an all out leader.